save our planet, Errol Sea serves as warning. The once fourth largest inland water body in the world, Central Asia's Errol Sea, has lost two thirds of its volume in the last several decades. It has dwindled from being the size of Ireland to what are now several contaminated ponds. Satellite images from the last 40 years reveal the extent of decline in the saltwater sea that is located between Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan. United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki moon recently referred to its predicament as one of the planet's worst environmental disasters, with overuse of contributory rivers by agriculture as well as global warming cited as the cause of its disappearance. Dr. Benjamin Lloyd Hughes of the Walker Institute for Climate System Research at the University of Reading in the UK stated, Ultimately, the disaster seen at the RLC are the combined effects of man and rising temperatures in those regions. The temperature has risen by over 1 degree centigrade since 1970, which will have enhanced losses due to evaporation. Indeed, the vast water losses of the RLC have created a local climate change effect, with summers becoming hotter and drier, while winters are colder and longer. Global satellite photos have revealed similar patterns of once water-rich regions now facing the catastrophe of extended drought. Dr. Lloyd Hughes mentioned Africa's Lake Chad and the Toshka Lakes in Egypt as two examples. Our appreciation, Dr. Lloyd Hughes and other scientists, for your candid observations of this urgent situation as we pray for the survival of precious places like the Aral Sea. May humans everywhere adopt lifestyles that protect our own kind and the planet. During an August 2009 video conference in Thailand, Supreme Master Ching Hai highlighted the actions needed to halt these alarming losses of the Earth's vital waterways. Many tens of thousands of rivers and great lakes are dying, dead, gone, or going. And I don't know how many more we must wait for to die in order for us to wake up. The leaders of the nations must do something. The people of all nations must do something. Just be veg. Stop the meat, dairy, fish industry. Be benevolent. Create a merciful energy that will envelop our world, that will emit mercy, love, protection for us and our children on this planet. Please take action now.